Hello, my name is Peter Phelps of Phelps 3D, and in this FreeCAD 16 tutorial, I'm going to discuss the ray tracing workbench. Now, the ray tracing workbench is basically a means to render your objects for a better resolution, better image. The reason I would do this is if I was making an object for a client and for instance, they wanted to make a t-shirt logo of the design and use it as a, a reward on a Kickstarter or something else. Um, you could also use this to render images for an animation or maybe for a PowerPoint presentation or something like that. Now, in order to use the ray tracing workbench, you have to have already installed one of the ray tracing programs that FreeCAD is compatible with. That's Lux Render or Persistent Division Ray Tracer slash Pavray. I used Pavray. I installed Pavray on my computer because I had used it before a long time ago, um, right after high school for some 3D rendering projects I was doing. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to all of these download and install Pavre or LuxRender. I have a link to the Pavre.org website on the video description. In FreeCAD though to connect to it, you want to switch over to the ray tracing workbench. If you don't do this, when you click on Edit Preferences, it won't show up. So, click on the Ray Trace, switch to the Ray Tracing Workbench, then go to Preference, Edit Preferences, then you click Ray Tracing, and then you have to tell it where to find the Ray Tracing program. So this is the path to the Pavray Executable. If you were using LuxRender, you would make the path down here instead. Now, I also set this to 1280 by 768. That is my screen resolution. And so that's what I'm using for the size of the image. You could go higher, you could go lower, depending on what you want to do there. I'll say OK. Now, in the ray tracing workbench, so I click here and I try to add, say, either of those. It's going to give me an error because I am not in perspective view. So I'll say no. I'll go up to view and I will change it to perspective. Then one of the things you want to do before you start adding these two, you could add the, I like using the radiosity normal. But before you take and start adding the parts for your project, you want to go ahead and define a color. I'm going to go with a purple. And so I'll click on the POV project. Actually, no, I'm going to click on the fusion object and then add that to the POV project. Now this is a simple object so it didn't take very long, but uh, it could take a lot longer if you have a lot more parts. Now, Pavray uses a file that is basically just a regular text file. It has the same syntax as C programming language except that it is describing how to render objects and what, what the scene is, where the camera is, where the um, light source is, etc. In order to find the template file, you want to go to the FreeCAD, or wherever you have the FreeCAD program installed, under the Data, Mod, Ray Tracing, Templates folder, you'll find the Radiosity Normal or the, the other that standard .pov file. The reason that's important is you might want to modify the default scene. And so this is the file you would change. It's just a text file. You can open it up in any text editor program and, and modify it. Uh, also, once you've added, added 
objects to the scene, you'll find that it creates a default um, scene file for you. But I prefer to actually save my own. So if I click on the pop project and I click this one, it's supposed to set it to the current set gamma to the match the current view. This is not WYSIWYG. This is not what you see is what you get. And I will show you why. I like to go ahead and save my project, uh, the Pavre file. So that way, if I want to play with it later, I can go in and just edit parts of it, or I can open it back up. Um, in Pavre to render differently. Blocky earrings. And then I'm going to probably I'll click the render part. I'll give this um blocky earrings the NG. Now, you only have bitmap and portable network graphics as your image formats that you can choose here. Um, if you do not expressly put in .png or .bmp, it's going to add both of those extensions. So, definitely type in which one you want. So. The program knows which you want to render in. I'm going to pause and then start this up again after the render has been done. I'm having an issue with the video recording software where as soon as um, Pavre is being ran and starts rendering, it undoes the synchronization of the video and audio completely. I, I've done this about 10 times now. So I'm going to try to pause and restart after I've rendered, done the rendering. Um, thank you. Okay, it's finished the render. Right now it's a moment. You can click this to... You can see how it cut off a good chunk of the scene. So what the way to fix that is to zoom out. Um, I'm going to zoom out about three times. So I'm going to go ahead and use the control minus one, two, three, and then I will select it. Use the view again. Output the pop file. And replace it. Then click this again and again I'm going to have to pause just because I, I think it will break the video if I don't okay and now I have the entire object in an image and that's pretty much all there is to using the ray tracing workbench thank you for watching goodbye